Hi, I'm Sherry Ann Richardson from ExoticGardening.com. Jeffrey Rhodes. And we are here to do an unboxing of, of some products that I received for Gurney's. I did receive these items for free in exchange for my honest review. All opinions are our own. So I'm going to let Jeff start with the uh, bean tower that we received. I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to make a real difference in our garden. We have the instructions. I'm going to bring this forward so that you guys can kind of get an idea about this. This is what it will look like when it's all done. So, I think I'm going to set a little further forward okay. and let you go ahead and show the pieces of bean tower. There's the instructions. So, that looks like what? The, the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. The that's, bottom ring. Yeah. And then we have the pole. The yeah. center pole. The center yeah. pole. Uh, this is the lower pole. It has a, a bladed end to go into the ground. Uh, and then we have the top ring and clips and beef twine. Yeah, that's that's going to be pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. And you just looks like you just run the, the twine up and down through the, the top and bottom rings yes and make a cage out of it okay and i'm really excited to see how well this works so um we also have a weed barrier mat this is three foot by 24 foot and i'm going to go ahead and open it and look because i'm curious yeah about it um it does say that um, you use this just like you would black plastic mulch, but it allows 14 times more air and 10 times more moisture to penetrate than other woven fabrics, which is great. Yeah. So, and this is what it looks like. That's cool. Feel that. That's that's pretty thick material. Is that a? Oh yeah. 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 It's kind of like felt, almost. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, what it, that's what it made me think of, the spell. Yeah, that's going to be really, nice really nice. Black felt, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, I also have... This right here. I also have a Japanese painted fern that has arrived. And I absolutely think these are gorgeous, gorgeous plants. So I'm really excited to give this a try. It does not have its full collar yet. It will get kind of a purpley collar. Get it off of here. <laughs> They've got it really secured good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. This is what it looks like. Um, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And the plastic is nice because it helps keep the moisture in while it's in shipping, which is really important. Now, the... This will get uh, 12 to 18 inches tall and 14 to 16 inches in width is what they recommend. It is uh, partial to full shade. And look at those roots. This is a nice, healthy, healthy plant. Um, it does need to get watered right away because it's been in shipping and the soil is not dry, but it's definitely where it needs to get a little bit of water and get fluffed up and maybe rest a day or two in this pot and then it can go in the ground. So very nice plant. Um, and lastly, oh and I do want to show you they did send some growing instructions, um, some pl uh, planning your vegetable garden guide. This is important plant care so that you know how to care for the plants that have arrived, if you don't know. Um, the last item and the item I'm most excited about is the uh, Whopper strawberry plants. You can see that there is some growth in here. I have had the Whopper strawberry before, and I made the mistake of 
digging it up and transplanting it, not keeping it well watered, and giving a whole bunch of the plants away because this one is a June bearer, but it multiplies very rapidly. Um, and so I ended up losing my last batch of Whopper strawberries through my own fault. So I'm really excited to have some more again because when they say strawberries as big as peaches, they're not the size of a huge peach, but they are very, very good sized if you grow them right. And these will get 8 to 10 inches tall. You space them 12 to 24 inches apart, and you want to put the crown right below the soil line. So let me show you one of these. Let me go ahead and open this and show you what we have going on in here. Um, getting one out. Here's what I found. So um, this is what the plant actually looks like. As I said, you can see that we have some growth here. We have some roots. Um, a lot of roots. So, and a lot of new growth, and these are actually rubber banded together like this. So what you will do is take that rubber band off and you will separate out the strawberries. Um, this is the crown right here. And I believe the last time that I planted these, I actually did a root trim and I'm not going to put that back on. Um, I did a root trim and then I put them in soil that had been amended with some mushroom compost. So that's what I'm going to do again this time is to put them in some soil that's been amended with some mushroom compost to give them kind of that extra boost to get them to take off and really root out. There are, I believe, 35 plants in this bag and just really excited about all of this and really excited to get get planting with it i mean <laughs> well the way you like strawberries i mean oh yes yes and if you can this is really a good variety to plant for home preservation so that was what I really liked about it. Um, even though it was a first year plant and I had planted these in the fall instead of in the spring or summer. But that first June that the plants produced, I was able to put some strawberries up and that really surprised me. And I think it was not only because these are so prolific, but because of the size of the strawberries, I've just never seen anything like them. I'm looking forward to seeing them. <laughs> yes, yes. And I'm definitely looking forward to this uh, bean trellis. I feel like for people that have limited space or only want to grow a limited number of plants, this is an ideal option instead of the uh, netting trellis that gets tangled up every year when you take it down or will rot if you leave it in place. Um, we've tried many different, different ways of doing this and I'm really excited about this. So if you guys have any questions or thoughts, things you want to know about, please leave that down below in the comments and we will try to get to those and answer those. Um, I will be doing some review posts over on ExoticGardening.com on these products and some different videos throughout the growing season so that you can see the progress of these plants and how they are actually doing in the garden because I know that's always important. So thanks for watching and I hope all of you have a really great day.